All right, so this uses a really good question. Do you keep multiple shells installed on one machine? Is that even possible? I know Windows has Batch and PowerShell installed at once, but I don't know if that's the same kind of thing. Uh, yes, so the answer is yes, I do, and a lot of systems will have multiple shells in it. You will have a default shell, and when I say default shell, I wanna be very careful and very clear what I mean by that. Your user will have a shell assigned to it. Every user will have some sort of shell assigned to it. It will show up in your Etsy password file the same way that you would have a home directory set. So you can change that. You can look at it. Um, there's a couple different ways to look at it. I usually just cat Etsy password and grep for my own username because I'm a bad sysadmin. That's what I do. Um, but there's also, was it CHSH, I think is a command for change shell if you want to change your default shell. Um, probably should use these commands. Don't just edit the files like I do. Um, get out of that habit. It's not a good habit to be in. Um, but to answer your question, yes. You can have multiple shells installed at once. In fact, here, I will show you what I have. I am on my Mac right now, but as you can see, I'm running Bash that's been installed through Homebrew. There is also bin Bash installed on my machine. I'm not running that right now. That is Bash 3.2. I want the newer version of Bash, but that is installed on my machine. I absolutely could run it. There's also bin SH. I could run this. This is just the born shell. This is not Bash. I won't have the Bashisms in it that I expect to be there. So I'll get errors when I try to do things that would only work in Bash. So we have that there. On some operating systems, shell may be symlinked to Bash. We can check that here. We can do file on bin sh and file on bin bash. And we can verify, nope, they're both executables. They still might be hard linked to each other. So we can check that with stat bin bash and bin sh. Uh, this is weird stat out, but this is my Mac, so this is whatever version of stat is running. I think this is the inode number. These are different, so they're not the same file. That's one way to check. I'm gonna run the GNU stat. Um, there we go. Yeah, okay, so we have the inode numbers here. Because they're not the same, we know they're not the same file, so that's pretty cool. Um, but there are other shells on here too. I'm on my Mac, so of course I have ZSH. So now I'm here, I can prove them in ZSH. I have, is it ZSH version, I think is what gets set there? Um, well, it would help if I spelled it correctly. There we go. So yeah, I'm running in ZSH, and when I'm done, I can type in exit and go back. You can also just hit Control D, and that sends a nice little end of file marker. So that's a way of just closing your input there. So when ZSH detects that it's standard in has been closed, it exits, leading me to fall back into Bash, which I was running on. Um, I think there's other ones too. Do I have K? Do I have Corn Shell? Yeah, I have KSH here. I think it's Echo KSH version and. There you go, I'm running the corn shell. Um, what else do I have? Probably have the seashell. Uh, yeah, look at that, the seashell is on here. I don't remember the last time I ran this, so let's see if I remember, let's see if I remember how to do this. Is it, well, let's double check. I think it's a lowercase shell. Hey, look at that, that's pretty cool. Oh man, okay, hold on, this, I might embarrass myself. I think you do an at sign and then I can do math. So I could say like, A equals two, uh, B equals two, C equals dollar A plus dollar B. So this is absolutely not bash syntax. This is very specific syntax. And look at that. We get two plus two equals four. So I don't know how I even pulled that off. Um, but yes, you absolutely can have different shells on the operating system. They're just different programs. The same way I could have multiple versions of LS or something if I wanted to. They're just programs. A shell is just a program that reads from standard in, processes some data, and then gives you standard out. It's a classic REPL, R-E-P-L, read, avail, print, loop, is what I'm saying there. Um, so yeah, hopefully it answers your question.